Oh. Hello. Uh, yes, I have disappeared for a bit, but as of this year, I want to try and upload once a week. So we'll see how that goes. Pretty much, I really want to take YouTube super seri seriously this year. Like, like, all of November and December was just so much fun being in Japan. I came home, and a week later, my best friends from America came, which is what this video is about. Um, and I just really wanted to enjoy being with them. They came all this way. I wasn't going to sit around editing while they were around. So wanted to say hello sorry I was on a really good roll for a bit uploading the tail end of 2017 and it just kind of died so this year is going to be different this year I have so many ideas for this channel and I'm so excited and I want you guys to look out for pins and tote bags and t-shirts and um, and more zines and art giveaways and I just have so many ideas so I can't wait so anyway I'm gonna start the video now I get quite emotional in this video at the beginning so just a heads up um, I'm I'm so happy my friends came to visit me and you'll it'll be very it'll be quite apparent <laughs> um, I miss them so much but um yeah here is a video about my two and a half weeks with my best friends from America who have come to visit me and I need to make a um, I need to make a plan for this year to come out and visit them in California um, so yeah enjoy good morning um, apologies for the awful lighting right now I'm driving to the International Airport it's 6 a.m. on my way to pick Becky, my sister, up, and we're gonna go pick up my two best friends who have come over from California to come spend Christmas with me and my family. I'm so excited! So they're here for 17 days, and I have literally made the most packed itinerary for them so they get all of the Australian experiences. I am so excited. Sid and Frenchie, I'm just gonna give you a quick like background rundown on them. And Frenchie was like my first like internet friend that I ever really it was like not didn't live in Perth that I like really you know that we really took the time to like meet and hang out. So friends on um, Instagram and Tumblr like six or seven years ago. Eight years ago. And I found myself in America on a holiday. Uh, we ended up in LA and when we were in LA Frenchie saw on Instagram so she added me on Facebook and she was like hello we're friends now like what are we doing and I was like oh my god amazing. She came to our Airbnb and just made the most amazing impression on me and I was like amazing like, and we hung out and we said hit it off it was great and then I was the for that first trip I was in America for two months and at the very end of my trip Frenchie invited me back to LA to come stay with them before I flew home to Australia and to go camping with them and all of their college friends and so I was like yep cool and I got on that plane I went back to LA and I stayed in their house for a week and we went camping um, there was no reception there was probably like 20 people that I had never met before and I had the best time just meeting all these new people that was so important to them they gave me a tent food everything like they completely just took me under their wing and took care of me and I cannot believe that so you can't you can't let a friendship like that slide. You cannot let people like that slide. You have to go back for more. Like you have to go back and follow your heart. And so t I saved up so hard for a year and I went back to America for three months and I stayed with them for three months. And the year that I was saving up, some really awful things happened to me. Um, one day I'll share them, but I had some, I had literally probably like six or seven experiences like all over the course of that year that just completely destroyed me as a human being and um, a lot of things I had no control over. <sighs> Getting a bit emotional there. When I went back, they knew sort of what was going on, but I didn't really, like, I didn't really tell anyone at the time what was going on because... I just thought I could cope by myself. I went back there and when I walked in 
to that house, I was broken, I was defeated, I couldn't feel anything, and pretty much, like, those girls just reminded me to be a person, and res that I'm respected, and people listen, and that what I, how I feel matters. I have everything to thank them for, they are the most beautiful people, so... Um, and that was two years ago now, and now they're finally coming here to see me, and I'm so excited. Yeah, alright, I better stop crying, because I'm at my sister's house now, so I'm gonna go get her. <laughs> I'm so excited to see them. <laughs> okay, bye. How cute are these little signs? Do you like your sign? I love my sign. It's way better than Frenchie's. <laughs> Uh, no, no, mine is much better. <laughs> <laughs> so look, so this is the river here. And this is our freeway. This is 8am traffic, two stops to the city. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much goddamn traffic I sit in? So look, look at this. This is the river. Oh, Are we going to go on a boat? Can we go on the boat? Um, I need a friend with a boat first. Oh, you're going to go on the, the ferry to Rotnet. <laughs> See, I told you, they fit in the armpit. They're so a little. <laughs> wow, I, like, really, I belong here. <laughs> Love you! Oh, it's it's you. so much smaller oh, than I My ground not so cute, but my head's going to be in the middle sometimes. I am you. <laughs> I love you. Get Have off a glass me. of wine. Do you want a glass of wine? Yeah. Get a glass of That's wine. That's what I thought. Thank you, Kim. Get off me. I know, like, where do we even start? Am I throwing mm. out this gun? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but I really wanted to make this video so it's something that we can look back at in, a, like, however many years and just think, like, oh my god, that was a point in our lives when you made the massive leap to come visit me for Christmas. As a birthday present? Yeah, as a birthday present. Yes, that's true. That was our <laughs> birthday present <laughs> because we're that self-centered. Yeah. <laughs> and it was their first time coming to Australia. Australia. The Outback. <laughs> I just thought we could talk about what we did and I've got like some clips that I'll just run in the background. So you're welcome. I took them to a lot of places. Uh-huh. A lot? Yes. What were some of the things you really appreciated about Australia? Yeah, Animals. Yeah. Petting a kangaroo. Yeah. So we, I took them to. Quarkers. I took them to Cavisham Wildlife Sanctuary, or park, or reserve, whatever it's called, on the second or third day they were here, and Sid didn't realise that you got to like go and be with the kangaroos and hug them and pat them and sit with them and feed them. Nah, we were it's definitely. Really I thought I was just gonna get to look at them <laughs> up close, like and a zoo. maybe feed them, yeah. we, like a zoo in California. Mm. We knew there'd be koala photos. Mm. We didn't know there would be wombats. Oh, wombats. <laughs> Possums, me and wombats, owls, parrots. Yeah, that's what I. That is the one thing I didn't expect, and I remember mm. the first night waking up at four in the morning, being like, <gasps> birds. <laughs> so many bird sounds all the time. I don't want to say a bad word. <laughs> Effing birds. Effing birds. Yeah, the birds will wake you up every day. So the first night, yeah, me and Sid. It's like literally it's still dark out, 4.30 in the morning, and I just like wake up and I'm like, what the fuck? Because it sounds like there's like a cat in heat, but it's definitely a bird. And then it also sounds like there's monkeys. <laughs> but there's definitely, those are definitely birds also. They're all so birds. Many and then there's them. like, <laughs> also birds, normal, right? And I just hear Sid on the other side of Kim just being like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sleep. It was so loud. Yeah. So <laughs> I just uh, laughed and I was like, okay, it's not just me. Okay, so uh, yep, birds. And then you guys got to go to Rotness. Yeah, we definitely disrupted some ecosystems on Rotness, but they don't have any prey or predators anyway, nope. so they're fine. They're just fat and happy. <laughs> they smile. <laughs> we have the same smile, me and Quokkas. Like this. And then we went for a drive down to Margaret River, mm. which is about three and a half hours south. And we then we went even further down to Walpole, Walpole. another three hours south yeah. from there. And we went on some great adventures and we got to see caves 
and more creatures and the treetop walk and horizontal rain yep crazy crazy rain there was a crazy storm while we were driving down and they were not ready for australian weather <laughs> i'm a very like jumpy passenger in a car so like if someone's driving me i'm like hello death <laughs> i am prepared <laughs> and so kim's sister becky was driving me and she's a great driver in the rain she was doing fine okay but in los angeles when it starts to sprinkle, you slow down to like 30 miles an hour, and that's just where you sit. Yeah. And you get there when you get there, but you get there alive. And they're like, no. You just keep going. 120 kilometers an hour, however much that means. It's like 80 miles an hour. 80 miles an hour, just the rain is pelting at the windshield like the twilight zone. And I'm like... <laughs> Oh man. And I'm trying not to scare Becky, but I'm ready for death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sid's one request was to do the Valley of the Giants. Yeah, Sid's like, yeah. the only thing I want to do is 15 hours away. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Falls, the Serpentine Falls. That oh, was yes, nice. they got to yeah. go to Serpentine Falls. That was a fun. Of that too. You got to feed some cows. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Cows. Kimmy's friend Ryan took us and a good little. Australian countryside adventure mm -hmm. and so we went hiking did the falls and then we went and sat in the back of his truck while we threw like 100 pound bags of carrots at cows as they chased us in the car <laughs> hundreds of cows <laughs> moving it was cool yeah it was really cool that was that was fun I was just like where <laughs> are we? And then as we're driving away from the cows, there's kangaroos just jumping across. Wow, I'm like, kangaroos. We oh yeah, that, that freaked you out that you met like tame yeah. kangaroos and then we would drive two streets and you'd see wild kangaroos on the side yeah. of the road. Yeah, that was crazy. Carrots, awesome. <laughs> yeah, definitely disrupted an ecosystem there too. When we were driving into the falls, the ranger's like, you got a lot of carrots. And we're like, don't worry, they're for the cows. And we saw a kangaroo and we're like, just kidding, man. <laughs> <laughs> this kangaroo is going to be fed. One carrot is for you. <laughs> Everyone is tall here. Oh, oh my God. That's <laughs> nice. People apparently think we look tall in photos. Yeah. But it's an art. We are, I am 5'1". I yeah. know. Should we show them how tall we are? <laughs> this, this doesn't work. Pretty Kim sure has a short torso, so yeah. we look taller than you. Yeah, so I'm five foot nine, and they're five foot one. <laughs> also, their vegetables are really large, and I just don't understand what they put in the vegetables. I don't think they do. I don't think you guys regulate. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's organic here. I don't think that that exists. I think they're just like. Hmm, steroids pump it like let's go <laughs> like there was a carrot the size of a cucumber <laughs> like it just doesn't but that's all the carrots that's what the cows ate cucumber carrots <laughs> <laughs> and there's no salsa <gasps> so i'm going home starving they also don't <laughs> like skin and bones we haven't had proper salsa in two and a half weeks so i think the first thing we're going to do when we get home Eat salsa. Is eat chips. And Everyone's really nice. <laughs> yeah, everyone is. It's really just really nice. nice and pleasant. I've especially here, at least in Perth, mm. just genuinely nice people. Maybe it's because we know you. Yeah, I mean everyone likes Kim. Yeah. So <laughs> if you come here and you're like, it's like you know getting a deal that you heard off the radio. And you're like, oh, I got it. I got this from Kim. They're like, oh yeah, bitch, you want extra? <laughs> <laughs> I did introduce you to some great friends that I knew would take yeah, care of you. They were really, everyone In, that's taken us on any adventures, absolutely just like the best people. Pay pass. Oh, oh yeah, pay, pass. pay pass. We don't have that. We don't have pay pass. They have this thing where you boop. Um, and it, I was told that Australia abolished signatures. Yeah, <laughs> I've signed a lot of things. But I've, signed, I've had to sign a lot of things. So get yourself a good travel card. And when they ask for pay pass, tell them you don't. No. Yeah. We so don't you have pay that. for it without inserting or swiping your card. You just tap the card on top of the machine and it pays for it. And that's it and you walk away. Brilliant. Uh, you found it interesting that we put petrol in our car, gas in our cars, and then you pay and yeah. then you drive away. Yeah. You were you, blown away by that. You gas up, 
and then you pay. And that would not fly in America. <laughs> nah, Americans, we, we're every man for himself. You, you, know, like, oh, you this you gas pay, is free? <laughs> Thank you. On a card, you pay more than you're actually going to fill up, but it only charges you what you fill up. Oh. So you're like, let's say you, you don't know how much you want to fill up, but maybe your tank's like 30 Because that's bucks. what I thought. I'm like, what if you want to fill up, but you don't know how many dollars? Yeah, yeah. Say, so you, say you say 50 40 bucks, and, and then, then... You just go until it's over, and then you put it back. And then oh. it only charges you what you actually put in. I feel like Perth people are so nice, because Perth has like a big touristy... Like industry. Yeah, industry for people that live in Western Australia, mm. and then for people on the east side as well, they'll come over here. But mm -hmm. there's not a lot of people coming from America over here. Yeah. No. So when we rock up and we're like, we're American, they're like, finally. Different. And so nice. Yeah, something us. different, yeah. something fun. Which mm. is not the case anywhere else in the world, so. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a lot of people will like roll their eyes when Americans walk in. Yeah, they're not super nice. I mean, who mm. are usually nice to me, but. Yeah, um, so Australians love America. Yeah. They love American culture. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. The nice. beaches are really nice and blue. Mm. Mm. The water is so blue because it's not polluted. <laughs> Highlights from the trip? Okay, let's think. Um, I mean, sure. There were so many. Oh, we spent Christmas here. Oh, yes, they had yeah. an Australian Christmas. Yeah, so it was like an Australian English Christmas. Yeah. Because your family's so English. We're English, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fairy bread. Oh, oh, okay. They don't like fairy bread. They tried fairy bread. Fairy bread is just like white, cheap bread with lots of butter covered in hundreds and thousands, which are like colorful sprinkles. lumps of sprinkles. Okay, sprinkles. they're like round ball sprinkles. <laughs> Their chocolate is all filled with caramel. There's no just caramel. caramel. Caramel, what was that? Caramel. <laughs> caramel. Filled with caramel. That's it, I'm leaving. <laughs> Yeah, so we had Christmas with the family, and that was lovely. Yeah, and they got to meet Fiasco and Vigo. Oh. Yeah, puppy! Oh, they had so much yeah. puppy time, so oh. much dog. Speaking of dogs, we got matching tattoos oh, to celebrate our mom. friendship. Yeah. So I got mine on my knee. Um, <laughs> I got mine on my foot. <laughs> I got like a little... Mine. I got like a skull, a dog skull with flowers in it, and so did these guys. Yeah, we all got to our own dogs. <laughs> Ready, skull. everybody? Oh. <gasps> Yay! Yay! It's so cute. <laughs> That's my... clapping in the background. <laughs> your okay. Sorry, Mom, I love you. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. So we finally got our friendship tattoos that we've been thinking of getting for ages. Years. So we're really happy we got to do that. Yeah. I saw Lauren Molina down at oh, yeah. Adorned Empire in Fremantle and we went and had dinner with her and I was like, look, so uh, this is a pretty big demand but can you do this before the girls leave? And she was like, let me... Smashed it. Yeah, oh. we killed her. Yeah. We, we were there from like 9 in the morning to like 10 o'clock at night. 10.30 she finished. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah, it was yes, definitely straight. check out her page. She's amazing. Come to America! Yeah, come to America. Yeah, please come. <laughs> Stay with us. Love for you. So Becky, my sister, took them to yeah. Gnomeville and uh, Collie. And in Collie, there is a place called Black Diamond. Black Diamond's so stunning. That's like, ooh, it's like this beautiful hidden lake surrounded by forest, like very much like quintessential intro horror film views. <laughs> <laughs> so spooky. Yeah, it was yes. spooky but gorgeous. And then after that, they're like, well, first of all, no one told me where we were going. We kept it a secret. I, I was given a recommendation. Mm. Yeah, so they pulled up and I just like instantly started laughing. And I was like, what the fuck? Where are we? <laughs> just a forest of gnomes. Yeah. yeah. It's just like normal terrain down. And then there was like a cute little creek with a bridge and the whole thing is covered in like thousands of gnomes. <laughs> quite creepy. Just yeah, quite, if there was no one else there, you would be so creeped out. Yeah. So it'd be so scary. Wow. I swam more on this trip than I have in years. I like yeah. never get in water. We were talking about it when I first got here. I'm like, I'm not swimming. <laughs> I don't swim. <laughs> Done and so much swimming. Every other day, I'm like. 
I know how to swim now. <laughs> Keep me afloat. <laughs> Your hopes kept you up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sunscreen, hat, sunglasses. Who said, what did, what did they slip, what did you? Slip, slop, slap. Slip, slop, slap, yeah. What the fuck is that? You slip on a, sh you slip on a shirt, you slop on sunscreen, sunscreen, and you slap on a hat. Something like that. Or you slip, slop, slap, people. But the sunscreen out here is so much better than sunscreen from America. It's like nice and creamy. And yeah, it's it almost is sweet to buy that here. I that can come with something. But. I go camping a lot and I put on sunscreen when I go hiking at home or when I go camping by the river and I still get burned. Mm. And I put on sunscreen here one time and we were at Rottnest all day and I didn't get a single burn. You would recommend coming to Perth? Yeah, come to 100%, Perth. 100% come to Perth. A better place to come if you're a tourist because it's mm. like it's almost less touristy. Yeah. In that you come and people don't treat you like a tourist. There's nothing that gimmicky mm. here. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing crazy mm. gimmicky here. It's all just like genuine Australian countryside. Good. And the food is so good. Mm, so like good all, all the like little restaurants and cafes. Bring your own hot sauce. Are fabulous. <laughs> if you like spicy food, yeah, bring hot sauce. But I mean, we found some. Yeah, I think Go I bought right seven bottles of hot sauce while I was here. <laughs> you got a search though. Yeah, and it was a search, but we got them. And so I had all my different hot sauces. I was ready to go. And so we just had those in our bag. And you like Nando's. You approve oh, of Nando's. Nando's, Nando's was yummy. Was good. Yeah, that was cool and spicy. Yeah, so yeah awesome. the super hot was spicy. And yeah, that was the only food in the whole country that's spicy. <laughs> uh, the breakfast is, we're all well done. They know As how to breakfast. Australia knows how to breakfast. They Australia know how to breakfast. Is good. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna change the way I do breakfast at home for sure when I have time to breakfast. But yeah, I'm just like so grateful to have friends like you two. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. I think we could say the same. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like super messed up when your best friend lives literally as far as humanly possible. <laughs> literally on the other 10, side. 10,000 miles, I looked it up. Really? Which so how far is that, that Sid? In kilometers? <laughs> 10,000? I'd have so to use six, my... 16, I need a calculator. So the, wait, so it's 1.6 miles to one kilometer, right? Oh. One mile... No, yes. What does one mile equal in kilometers? 1.6 kilometers. Yes, yeah, so 16,000. So if it's 10,000 No, miles. one kilometer is one, because a mile is more. Okay, a mile is... 1.6. 1.6, okay, okay. So 10,000 divided by 1.6, leave it in the comments, thanks. So 6,000 <laughs> kilometers away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, 10,000. And just press enter. Boop, boop, boop. See? I'm right, 16,000 kilometers. Have some faith in me, guys, honestly. <laughs> but it's not true because the earth is flat anyway. <laughs> you could just walk. Yeah. Because, so, because body. <laughs> but yeah, I plan. I'm just gonna have to come see you guys again. Yeah, leave it in the comments if you want Kim to come live with us. <laughs> <laughs> but I live in California, so if I ever went. To go visit them, we could totally have like a meetup or something and it'd yeah, be so yeah. fun. That'd so, be good. How many people want Kim to come to California? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already volunteered Lena. I was like, Lena, Bugs, and Kim can have a meetup and then I can be there like, I brought snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the camera. Uh, <laughs> Sid makes a good camera gal too. <laughs> We'd be a team. Dream team. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh my god, well thank you for watching! Yay, thank you! I love these two so much, if you want to stalk them on the internet, these are their usernames here. Yeah, I might have a vlog of this adventure one day. You should have a vlog of this adventure. I should, by the, when do you think you'll post this? In a couple of weeks. Yeah, then I should have a vlog of this. Yay! Yay. So and you, you can, can watch Frenchie's video. We'll Yay. link it. And then if I don't have a vlog, I'm a dirty liar! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. I told you not to drink wine during the video, but you had to do it, and now you gotta gum on your pants. <laughs> this bitch, she did it. The gum. Okay, bye. bye. Yeah, she knows what she's doing.
<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah! What up trees? <laughs> he was like, what, sorry? Oh my god, Becky, look! Oh. <laughs> look at this Becky! I didn't realize that was Becky! Oh shit! Don't call me. Don't call me. <laughs> <laughs>